the security challenges in the northern part of the country has raised lots of concern both home and abroad. As various state governments are currently working themselves out in search of solution to the current economic situation. In the bid to halt bandit free, kidnapping and violence raging in the northern part of the country, three Nigerian governors met with the European Union and some other Western countries, including the United States of America, Canada, and the United Kingdom. The governors bypassed the president, President Muhammadu Buhari, to seek help from the international community after the president turned down assistance from the United States of America just weeks ago. The meeting which took place at the European Union compound in Abuja had the three governors in attendance. The governor, Soko, the governor of Sokoto State, Aminu Waziri Tambuwal, Belu, Muhammad Matawali of Katsina, and Aminu Masari, Matawali of Zamfara, and Aminu Masari of Katsina. According to the statement made available to the public by the Special Advisor on Media to Aminu Tambuwal of Sokoto State, Mohamed Belu, he said that the European Union Ambassador to Nigeria, Ketil Kaslin, Kalsin, discussed the security challenges in the country, majorly in the northern part of Nigeria, and has promised to work with the Nigerian government in tackling these security challenges. The European Union can render help to the northern part of Nigeria, either financially, physically, or even involving their military fighters. The three northern governors asked the European Union to please help the northern part of the country in any way they can. The governor assured them that as soon as the right resources are available, the European Union will be fully involved. But Nigerians who saw this request made by the three northern governors think it is too extreme, saying, how can we have a sitting president and still look for help outside? Well, it is what it is. I think the situation seeks desperate moves and they are making desperate moves as it were. This is the three northern governors making a desperate move to save themselves and their people. That is the only reason why you see they, are, they have made this move as it were. Desperate situations require desperate actions. The situation of things in the northern part of the country has gotten out of hand and the administration of President Muhammad Buhari does not seem to have a solution to the problems. Despite all the resources at his disposal, they do, they, it doesn't seem as if an end is in sight to the activities of the Fulani headsmen and bandits in the northern part of the country. But rather, other terrorist groups are also finding their way into the country to continue to terrorize the zone. Haven't gotten tired of the situation of things, the governors decided to bypass the president to seek foreign help from the European Union. Well, what informed their choice of the European Union? That I don't know and I cannot say or conclude. But what is important is that they actually went to the European Union at night to seek for assistance as they are tired of the situation of things in the country. You recall that the northern part of the country is still battling with the activities of bandits, the Boko Haram, the ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and all what have you. All of them are said to have come together under 
one umbrella to operate and carry out various attacks in the northern part of the country and some of them would eventually be moving to the southern part of the country. But be that as it were guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as in, and this move as it were? Where are we heading to? Where are we going to? How would things eventually turn out? How would things eventually pan out? What do they stand to achieve? If the government cannot provide security and cannot protect the people at all costs, then the government has failed and should resign with immediate effect, allowing those who have what it takes to actually come on board and do the needful. Instead of abandoning the people to their fate, it would have been wiser and better for the government to seek foreign help. Don't forget that just weeks ago, the United States of America African Mission had offered to help Nigeria seek, uh, sorry, offer, offer to help Nigeria deal and flush out the, at the Boko Haram. But the president rejected the help. Now, these governors have now bypassed him to go and seek help from the European Union. Who is fooling who at the end of the day? What is the agenda? Bandits have been negotiated with. Bandits will surrender today, then tomorrow they are back to their vomit. And one would expect that this set of people should be uh, listened to. And these are the people that the president is supporting. Condemn, he refused to condemn. But rather, he is operating. Honestly speaking, it is really, really sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but we cannot continue like this. Nobody knows the capacity at which, you know, people might eventually operate by the time chips are down. But be that as it were, to avoid the unthinkable, it would have been better if the government seek foreign help to chase away these people and return normalcy to the northern part of the country and make it governable. Well, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, where? Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.